First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hello everybody, my name is Sky Leak, reporting for First Updates Now. With me, I have team 1918 NC Gears. Uh, I have Eli and Jonathan here, and they're gonna take us through their robot. They've had quite a successful season so far. So guys, how about you do that? All right, so I'm Jonathan, and we're just gonna kind of talk to you about our design structures and how we chose to do what we did for this season. So our main functions is our hatch intake. With our hatch intake, we actually have two limit switches that trigger as soon as we find our, find the hole inside the hatch and it triggers and then we can actually pick up our hatch and then it will find its hole back when we place it. And then on the back here we have the Turos. Uh, we had a very successful year of, with Turos before so we chose to do them again. Uh, it's just surgical tubing wrapped around a cylindrical uh, plate. Uh, so, and we also have our camera. So the interesting thing about our camera is we have a servo connected to it so that during game we can actually switch it 180 so that we can see our hatches and our cargo. That's useful in case we go blind or we're having a very hard time seeing what we're placing. So we have our elevator placed on a, a slide so it can slide back and forth depending on whether we're using our Turos or our hatch. So we didn't want to put both into one uh, grabbing mechanism because we wanted to have a really good hatch and a really good Toro. And we felt the only way to do that is to have them separated as two. So our entire elevator slides back and forth dependent on which one we're using at the time. Um, yeah, so this is our first year using Swerve Drive. And we developed uh, our Swerve Drive over the fall. And uh, we've got really interesting models, right? So we, we design the robot and then we can design the, the swerve around what our robot needs to do as opposed to, okay, we have these swerve, mo swerve modules and we have to work around them, but the, the swerve modules are very module, uh, modular and so uh, they, they can work around our robot and what we need for you know, the, the year. All right, everybody, let's uh, thank NC Gears for an amazing uh, robot uh, showcase here uh, and uh, congratulate them on an awesome season so far. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm Sky Leak. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live and independent.